Okay, later on we'll actually discuss the distortion issue. Alright, this uh yellow. So the distortion issue actually um has certain stuff with, with regards to um trying to evaluate certain stuff. So for example, if you have a low pass filter A over S plus A, for example. Okay, if I were to rearrange this by uh, multiplying one over A, uh, divided by one over A. So this thing over here is still equal to one. So I'm just simply rearrange. I'll have uh, this thing over here. Okay. And in the, sub in the next video, right, I actually square them. Or I actually square them. Okay. And therefore, I have. Uh, if I were to square this, because you know that your S is equal to J omega, right? So if I were to write in terms of that, I have this thing. Okay. And in order to solve for this problem, alright, uh, one way is that um, you could. For example, sorry. If happened that omega is equal to A, later on you know what the hell, but. You know what? Why, why do we do this? Okay, but I just want to inform you the, the steps so later on you get to know. Uh, the meaning because some because later on I'll say something that I don't know what the hell is going on and things like that. So this video is to touch on the don't know what the hell. Okay? Uh, something like this, alright? Because your omega is equals to your A, right? So if so if omega is equals to A, I can sub omega as A, right? So therefore A divided by A is one. Alright, so I have this thing over here. Okay? And eventually this thing over here if you were to solve, there is two methods of solving. Alright, the first method of solving which is in the in the next n subsequent video is I actually square both of them. I just not square both of them. I square everything. Okay, so I would have, all right. I get the magnitude of this thing. So I have one plus one equals to half. Okay. In fact, this thing that I'm doing right here is to find the power. All right. I'm actually finding the power of your transfer function, of your low pass filter. This is actually low pass filter, ma. Right. So I'm actually find, finding the power. When omega is equal to A, what is the power? And in fact, it's half power. Okay, later I'll, I'll, I'll go on with the issues. But next, by, by far now, what we're going to do now is to go into what is voltage. So this is car, this is power, and what is voltage? Alright, voltage is that if you were to find the magnitude, in order to find the magnitude of this transfer function, you cannot do what we have just done. Or you cannot. So what we need to do is to multiply by the uh, conjugate. Alright, j minus 1 and j minus 1 over here. In order to solve for the magnitude of your transfer function, this is the standard way to solve for your magnitude. Okay? I repeat again, in order to solve for your solve for your what? I mean solve for your transfer function, you will multiply with a conjugate of your j plus 1. So j plus 1 conjugate is j minus 1. Now. Okay? So I would have j minus 1 over j plus 1. I mean sorry. Uh j plus 1 and then j minus 1. Okay? And then eventually, you, if you were to evaluate this bottom one, you will have uh, j j square, all right, minus one, okay. And then you will have uh, j minus one. If you were to find the magnitude of them, all right. So the magnitude of this thing over over here is the one square plus one square equals to something, some answer. Because if you think about it, this this thing over here, if you were to visualize, is the real and imaginary. Your j is your imaginary, is 1j, right? And then minus 1, so you have something like this. Okay, so in order to find the magnitude of this thing, you need to take this thing square, or right, this thing square, in order to find this magnitude, right? So this is what I'm doing right now. Nah. So I, if I square them, so I, if I were to take 1 square plus 1 square square root, I'll still get back, uh, no, I'll, I'll get back 2. I'll get square root 2, right? 1 square plus 1 square square root, you'll get 1 plus 1, you have 2, right? Square root 2. <sighs> anyway, so your j square over here will become minus 1, right? By the rule, uh, the, the j is equals to uh, square root minus 1, and then j square is equals to minus 1, j cube is equals to 1, if you remember those complex number stuff. But anyway, so you what you have is minus 1, minus 1, you have my uh, minus 2, right? So we take the absolute value also, okay? So what you have is square root 2 over 2, okay? This is your voltage, you are calculating your voltage. Alright, if you were to square your this thing now, alright, square root 2 square, you have what? Square root 2 square, you're just getting back 2, right? You know what I mean? Square root, I have to multiply the square inside both of them, okay? So square root 2 square, you have 2, and then 2 square, you have 4, you have half, alright? So this is very intuitional because think about it, your power is equals to v square r or v square i, yeah, v square i, I think v, v square i. So therefore, your i is your input. Think about it. It's your whatever. Last time your y of s over u of s. Your input. 
I mean in the digital or the artificial one? Uh, wait. This is the digital domain. <laughs> Sorry. So you have UZ over EZ, something like that, right? So this is your input current into your system. Alright. Multiply by your voltage square, you have your power. Ma. All right. So your power is equals to, is proportional to V square. So if you were to, this is your voltage, if you were to square it, you have your power. Alright. So this is the first thing that I just want to inform you about the things that we're going to do later on and we'll talk about the half power issue and things like that. Alright, so this is something, this is the correct way of doing so. Alright. And next thing is that, alright, since we know that, uh, square root 2 over 2, alright, for the voltage, for voltage, if you evaluate the, the decibels, you're going to use 20 log 10, uh, square root 2 over 2. If you use power, alright, power will use 10 log 10, square root 2 over 2. Alright, eventually both of them will, will give you the same result, minus 3 dV. Okay, this is standard way of doing so. Alright, this is the this is for the voltage, this is for the power. Okay, so if you were to V square this thing, think about, um, wait, I think you give me a while. Huh? In fact, I should write as log 10 half. Okay, log 10, sorry, log 10 half. <coughs> okay, so yeah, for voltage, you use 20 log. Alright, for power, you use this thing, okay? And if you think about it, your power is your voltage squared, right? Your power is approximately your voltage squared. Your voltage is square root 2 over 2, so you can say that it's square root 2 over 2 squared. So if I were to sub in half as this thing, or because if you think about it, if you, if you evaluate square root 2 over 2 squared, you will still get back half. So if I were to, to, to bring this thing in, okay? So if I were to copy this thing, okay, I'll just copy this. Okay, if I were to bring this thing in here, okay, and if I were to evaluate this thing now over here, if I were to bring this over at this side, I'll have 20 log 10. So this your power will becomes your voltage. You see, it's the same same situation. Alright, so it's just the manipulations of the mathematical equations. So later on you may wonder later on uh, you may wonder why we use 20 log 10, why we use 10 log 10. In fact the 10 log 10 is to find the power. So eventually you still get back minus 3 dB. For the voltage, 20 log, things like that. Okay? But you just need to know that what we're doing in the subsequent videos we're actually doing in terms of the power. Alright? I actually didn't do in terms of the voltage. So yeah, that's the thing. So therefore there's a little bit confusion here and there, but I just want to clarify using this video. Okay? So I have a little time, I'll just briefly talk about why does why is our transfer function over here, why do we output as a voltage? Alright, why why is it that this this thing that we evaluate is a voltage? Okay, so just a brief recap. We have an M something like this. Okay, I may be drawing it wrong. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking already, or right, you if you if you're keen to learn, alright, if you forgot or whatever, you can watch all about what op amps in my uh, playlist. Okay, nonetheless you can watch uh, other important stuff, KC instrument, alright, all this these two playlists and all these things. Okay, if you are keen to look at, you can just click, yeah, just just click and look at it. Uh. But anyway, um, yeah, let's come back here. Okay, is that over here? If you remember, if you were to evaluate this type of stuff, if you for this case, this is the voltage divider rule. If you want to find the voltage, right, this output will be some voltage, I think. Yeah, so this is R over R plus your capacitance, right? So it's just some current divider and voltage divider rule, right? And you're gonna multiply with a certain resistance over here because they are connected in series, this is parallel, right? And then, this thing over here, if you do multiply by your input current, alright, it will be equals to your voltage. Why do I say so? Alright, if you remember, V is equals to IR. Alright, if you don't know what the hell really, then, then happy birthday. But anyway, um, V equals to IR, la, okay, if you haven't forgot. So, in this case, this is your R, this is your I, this is your V. Think about it, this I is your input, your input current, this this tran this thing over here looks like your transfer function, right? Your low pass filter. So this thing over here is your low pass filter, and therefore if you do to 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 multiply your transfer function with a input, in this case we input a uh, uh, a current that is considered a impulse current. So you have your input is just one, alright. So one times your this thing will give you a voltage also, right? So this is something that you want to know. Uh, about the voltage and after that if you were to find the magnitude of your of your transfer function you're actually getting your voltage if you square it you'll get your power 
so these are all linked back to the electrical stuff already alright so I'll just leave you to this and uh, good luck if you were to watch the subsequent videos on uh, distortions because um, there will be uh, ups and downs all over so be careful of um, the, the stuff that I'm going to talk about so this is why this is the very important video that I just want to um, give up front first before I, I start on before you watch the, the subsequent ones see you there